TSMC 3 nanometer chip production is well underway, with the latest process expected to be used for both the A17 chip in the iPhone 15 Pro and the M3 destined for future Macs. However, the company told analysts that it isn't yet able to keep up with customer demand. Apple's chipmaker also said that yield rates, the percentage of chips that pass quality control tests, are not yet good enough to charge the iPhone maker for every wafer produced. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, has for many years led the world in ever smaller processes, that is, fitting more and more transistors into a given space. The denser the transistor layout, the more powerful a chip can be for any given size. The latest process to be offered by TSMC is 3 nanometer, which the company dubs N3. Samsung generally sits one to two years behind TSMC in process size, while Intel is many years away from 3 nanometer. TSMC's 3 nanometer process is expected to be used for Apple's A17 chip, destined for the two iPhone 15 Pro models, while the non-Pro models will use the older A16 chip. We're also expecting to see the same 3 nanometer process used for the M3 chip in future Macs. Chips are produced in wafers, comprising hundreds of individual chips. Apple normally pays TSMC an agreed price per wafer, but because only just over half of the chips on each wafer are usable at this stage of production, the iPhone maker is currently paying for each usable chip. Although a 55% yield sounds very low, the report says that this is typical at a time when TSMC is still perfecting mass production of a new process. The next major step will be 2 nanometer chips, and these are expected to begin production in 2025. The iPhone 17 is likely to be one of the first devices to use this upcoming process.